Yes, uh, some marvellous scenes there, including a snap of Trevor's brother. That's box set the bison out front of the the, um, the Parliament House here in Salt Lake City, and now this is an enormous thrill because we can welcome somebody right from the very crossroads of the West. Can you please make welcome Miss Utah, Jacqueline Hunt? <laughs> Jackie, very thanks cool. very much for coming in. Thank now, you for I've got to me. ask about the crown. I think you're the first Go person right that ahead. we've ever interviewed wearing a crown. <laughs> it's obviously of enormous value. Such an honour. Does enormous it weigh much? Value. It doesn't weigh very much at all. It's quite have light. you ever left it behind? It, you know, you might have gone out to open a fate or visit a school and left it behind <laughs> and thought, oh, no, the crown. Every time I open a fight. <laughs> no, I do. I leave it behind all the time, and my poor dad just follows me everywhere. So. And it comes well, in a special me. crate, I understand. I have a little crown box. In fact, your partner just tried it on earlier today. I tried it. I did try it on earlier. How did he look in it? He, just stunning. Not really, too. absolutely <laughs> fabulous. I was trying to imagine what it felt like to be... No, Prince Albert of Monaco. <laughs> and for a few seconds, he felt that way. Like for a few seconds. Like Does it require any maintenance? Like, do you have to get out what we'd call the brass though in Australia <laughs> and polish it up? I just have to be careful to keep the hairspray off of it. Right. And, you know, okay. I guess I can take it to the jeweler and get it shined up. I have no idea. Right. Are you able to keep it? And the second question, the, the second part of this question, the harder part, if you are able to keep it, would you ever wear it when you weren't Miss Utah, say, just out to do the shopping? <laughs> you, know, you might yeah. go have ten pin bowling with it on. Yeah, bowling especially. I do get to keep it. Um, I believe it's against my contract to wear it in public again, though. Oh, I'm not right. sure. I don't think I would ever just put it on just to wear I don't now, so. Right. <laughs> now, Sorry. you became Miss Utah, and then you went on to the big competition, Miss I America. Did, Miss America. The and big one. I believe you were robbed. I think you I, ended up I being a semi-finalist. <laughs> absolutely robbed. My I've dad does too. So. Oh, good. Well, that makes two of us. And we know that judging in 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 uh, Miss America is as crooked as the judging in the Olympics. Figure skating last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, true. can you quickly? I understand there's a great rivalry, and I've got to get the terms right. Miss America and Miss USA. Yes, there's a great rivalry between the pageants. There is. Can you quickly outline that for us? I will outline that Miss America has t the talent competition. It's worth about 40% of our score, of my score, at Miss America. Whereas Miss USA, you don't have talent. You just compete in swimsuit, evening gown, and interview, I understand. Uh, yeah. 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 So we, are, we have the talent, but yeah. that's about it. Look, um, what sort of tricks are involved, um, <laughs> Jacqueline? Uh, you More know, I, whenever you I was know. doing, uh, I, I used to try a little bit of hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> Did it work? Under the eyes, and I found it. Have you ever tried stuff? I like haven't that? tried the hemorrhoid cream, but I have tried an adhesive spray to yes. keep your swimsuit on. It's a very important thing. You don't want to be. What you guys were you talking about the, the figure skating problem. That yes. So we don't want that to happen. No, that's right. Oh, that's right. So if you don't want too much crack, <laughs> yes. you spray a bit of the adhesive. Yeah. Well, like they could use that doing, last night. If you're doing Miss Universe, you'd encourage more crack. <laughs> that's true. Maybe it's that way. I have no idea. But right. we adhesive spray, photo spray. You just right. spray it What right happens on. when you come to take the swimsuit off, though? Isn't it's a horrible nice thing. <laughs> it is so bad. Uh, yes. If you can imagine, yes, for about two days, you know that your swimsuit stayed on in competition. Well, it combines <laughs> waxing with... Uh... Well, oh, yes, it's very effective. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, there is a hint for people at home. Uh, <laughs> photo spray. Save yourself a million. Uh, now, <laughs> your platform, which is the kind of the area that you've decided to speak on in, uh, you know, the interview sections mm -hmm. and so on, is organ donation. Now, uh, there was a boom in sort of organ donation when they first introduced there it, was. and it's dropped off a little bit. What it, has. it certainly has in Australia. Is that the same experience here in America? You know, it's actually, it's on a slow and steady rise in America. We had, we had you know, it's very exciting when it first, first started coming, and now hopefully it's getting back up. We're starting a new launch in April in Utah, actually, so hopefully we can get that push going back up because it is a very important thing and more and more people need it. We have about 80,000 people in the United States right now waiting for that life-saving organ 17 die to every day. Yes. So it's pretty sad. Uh, so hopefully we can do something about that. No, now, are you at all interested in the idea that we're, where I think science is up to growing the organs in pigs mm -hmm. and then putting them in humans? Where do you stand on this issue? Do you have a position on this? You know, I think, I think anyone would do anything to save their life. Yes. And so even if it did come from a pig, if you're going to live to see the next day, whereas you might not have, then 
Why not? Great. You don't yes. seem a fan of this idea. No. Do you draw the line at any organ at all, uh, Jack? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like, want to go there. Well, I mean, if, if for example, <clears throat> you were to receive someone else's brain. <laughs> Would already run in. The, would, would you draw the line there? Because honestly, if you woke up, Who's you'd brain? feel really different. You would. You would. You know, you'd look at yourself and, <laughs> and not you would recognize be yourself. yourself. You'd be somebody I think else. I would draw the line there. I don't yes. think, you know, no. we probably shouldn't go there. We shouldn't go there. Okay. Now, um, the awareness of, uh, of troublesome issues facing the world is one of the things that, uh, one of the criteria. We must be aware of. That you must be mm -hmm. aware of. Such as fry sauce shortages. Yes. <laughs> what, do you see, what do you see as one of the, the, the big, like the big crisis facing the earth at the, the moment, big facing crisis. the world? Oh, my word. Especially, seriously, September 11th. September 11th. Oh, well, now, okay. Well, let's imagine. Let's imagine. Let's imagine. Say, uh, Osama bin Laden is watching the program now. <laughs> what would you say to him? <laughs> what could you say to him? <laughs> World peace, right? Yes. World peace, yeah. World, peace <laughs> World peace man. Would you leave it at that? Uh, or what else can well, you say? Would you you know, put some shave, headings? shave. Oh, I have a shave and world peace. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sure that would do the trick. <laughs> now, Save what? the world right there. The winter, obviously the Winter Olympics, to state the bleeding obvious, are in town. Now, uh, there's a lot of handsome, handsome athletes around. Has anybody caught your eye in particular? You know, no. I would say the athlete I've been waiting to meet is Chris Klug. He had a liver transplant, so working with organ donation. Right. Seriously, yes. I can't yeah. wait to meet Chris Klug, so I hope I will. I think, right. um, I hope I do. I think yes, that we have that arranged. Do any sports talk to you more than others? I mean, are you attracted to the ice hockey, to the bastards, for Skeleton. example? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Do you, like, yeah. do you like rough sort of you know, thing? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you know, figure skating is just nice, romantic. Uh, yeah, you know, but beautiful, isn't it? I think anything that loose we just watched, that was so death, yeah. you know, could happen. As a local, though, do you uh, get up in the uh, mountains much and ski and uh, all of that? I prefer the skeleton. The skeleton? <laughs> no. Oh, wow, no. Um, no, I, you know, isn't that embarrassing? I haven't been skiing. I, I think I would severely injure myself if I tried. Wow. So I try to stick. Wow. To the lodge, you know. That I'm must sorry. embarrass I shouldn't you, admit child. that. I shouldn't admit that. I know. I was born in Rachel. What a scandal that would and be. And I just haven't been up. Is that common that many people here in the city would not many, ski? Many, many. Miss Utah yes. does not ski. Oh, yes. no. That's, that's going to that, That'll be in the Deseret News. <laughs> 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 Headline. That's Coming on the show, we'd like to present you with this sort of beanie that oh, advertises the Smiggins Hole 20, yes. 2010. And I'm sure that since you're an ambassador for the Winter Olympics here, once the bid is approved, we'll make an to. invitation for you to come out would, to absolutely. Australia and I play love, an important part. I would absolutely You'd love, love to go to Smiggins Hole? Yes. And to yes. go with that, this marvellous oh. Cedric Sloan pin of Wonderful. Cedric stabbing the seagull with the beautiful diamond in the eye. Oh, that's horrible. Jackie, can you have a happy snap down the camera <laughs> here? And I ask the audience to thank Miss Utah. <laughs> <laughs>